We've been looping over data frames row by row with ease in the past two lessons. But remember, in order to write efficient code, we want to avoid looping when possible. In this lesson, we'll explore an alternative to using .iter rows and .iter tuples to perform calculations on a data frame. We'll continue using our baseball data set and revisit the calculate run differential function we've used in the past. This function calculates a team's run differential for a given year by subtracting the team's total number of runs allowed from their total number of runs scored in a season. We'd like to create a new column in our baseball DF data frame called RD that stores each team's run differentials over the years. In previous lessons, we did this with a for loop using either dot iter rows or dot iter tuples. Here we use dot iter rows as an example. Notice that we are iterating over baseball df with a for loop, passing each row's rs and ra columns into our calculate run differentials function, and then appending each row's result to our run diffs iter rows list. This gives us our desired output, but it is not our most efficient option. One alternative to using a loop to iterate over a data frame is to use pandas dot apply method. This function acts like the map function we've used in the past. It takes a function as an input and applies this function to an entire data frame. Since we are working with tabular data, we must specify an axis that we'd like our function to act on. Using a zero for the axis argument will apply our function on columns, while using a one for the axis will apply our function on all rows. Just like the map function, pandas.apply method can be used with anonymous functions or lambdas. Let's walk through how we'd use the dot apply method to calculate our run differentials. First, we call dot apply on the baseball DF data frame. Then we use a lambda function to iterate over the rows of the data frame. Notice that our argument for lambda is row, since we are applying to each row of the data frame. For every row, we grab the RS and RA columns and pass them to our calculate run differentials function. Lastly, we specify our axis to tell dot apply that we want to iterate over rows instead of columns. When we use the dot apply method to calculate our run differentials, we don't need to use a for loop. We can collect our run differentials directly into an object called run diffs apply. After creating our new column and printing the data frame, we see that our results are identical to the dot iter rows approach. But was using dot apply more efficient? When timing the dot iter rows approach, we see that it took about 87 milliseconds to complete. But using the dot apply method took only 30 milliseconds. A definite improvement. Now, let's practice using dot apply with some coding examples.